the four of wands with something behind it. Ooh. So it's joy and stability and a contract, depending on what issue we're dealing with. I want to know what's behind it. What about you? The Empress reversed. Okay, so we have kind of like a wedding card and then a bride in reverse. So some of you could be dealing with a bridezilla. <laughs> okay, I want to clarify that real quick. Okay, what is the clarification for the Aries current situation? Some of you may have brought stability to a mother figure who wasn't very pleasant. Okay. We have the hanged man. I knew it was going to be the hanged man because I saw the card all bent up. Yeah. Interesting. In order to win and get past this barrier of not growing, Zan's going to call for you to make a sacrifice. Let's see what sacrifice it might be. The Queen of Cups. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I have somebody sending me uh, information. So, um, could be dealing with a cancer. Oh my goodness. Again, it could be a mother figure. Oh my goodness. <laughs> It's probably going to ding for a little while, guys. I'm so sorry. Oh my <laughs> okay. And there's also an idea that somebody doesn't want to let go of. Could be that other people are getting married and you're not. And so you just feel kind of stuck in limbo and isolated by yourself when it comes to love. Maybe thinking, everybody else is getting married, and I don't even have a boyfriend, or I don't even have a girlfriend. So, that could be something we got here. And it may be that you need to make a sacrifice and get out more, okay? I don't really see Aries as being more like loner type, but, you know, there is Tyler Tarot, so, you know, whatever. <laughs> All right, let's see, what is the issue, obstacle, or fate? Okay, so, we have the King of Pentacles. Oh, that's why my camera is shaking. I have it plugged in to charge. <laughs> okay, we have the Three of Swords in reverse. Ooh, and the Five of Swords reverse. I feel like there's apologies coming all over the place over here. They're coming from everywhere. That's your issue, obstacle, or fate. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing. Um, because with the Three of Swords reversed, you're getting over it. Five of Swords reversed, wanting to like make amends. And we have stability here. So here it looks like this is just your fate, um, not necessarily an obstacle or an issue. Hmm. Some of you may have been left at the altar. I don't know why I'm getting that, but, um, or you found out somebody was married. Okay. But I'm seeing really good things here. Okay, let's clarify. Why these three cards came out for your issue obstacle or fate it looks like in this case eight of wands i'm telling you this communication about the an apology is coming you might be giving it okay but i feel like things are moving really fast for you and in a good way i feel like you could wish upon a star and get it and maybe you've been wishing for this for a long time I like it. Okay, let's move those to the sides. So we have more room. Okay, the next position is what are the steps that will help you with your fate? Because you don't seem to have the issue here. Um, so what are the steps for Aries regarding the fate position? Okay. Ace of Wands and Six of Cups in reverse. So I do feel like it's a thumbs up for you to move on from the past. Um, I do feel like Somebody from the past could come back into your life and offer you an apology. Could be the other way around. Could be you doing this. Um, you may even ask for a new start um, because they really do it for you, apparently. Um, but maybe you're not proposing marriage. You're like, oh, I propose, let's have sex as opposed to marriage. Because <laughs> you left me at the altar or you did this or you, you abandoned a commitment, you know, and so on. But keep in mind, this could be you having done this and not them. 
All right, let's see here. Where are these cards here as advice? I mostly feel like it's a good idea to move on from the past. It could be just the memories, not necessarily the person. And I also don't think you should offer anything truly um, something that would tie you down and make you be sad again. Five of Wands reversed, coming out of conflict. We also have no obstacles or challenges, which is what I was telling you in your issue, Obstacle or Fate. So this is telling me that you don't have any of those. You're pretty much okay. And I'm seeing that bridges won't be burned here, but it is going to be a little difficult to cross that bridge when you get to it because there is that missing piece, right? I also feel like you're going to have, I don't know, angelic help or something of that nature when you get to this uh, opportunity that comes through. I feel like there's definitely ending of conflict because they have five of swords reversed, five of wands reversed, three of swords reversed. Very good reading. Okay. Well, let's see what your strength is, Aries. It's supposed to help you with your steps. But since you're doing so well, let's just see what your strength is. Strength is Ace of Cups in reverse. So this tells me that you kind of see something as being false. You can see reality in regards to a love situation. And we do have the Ace of Cups over here reversed too. So if somebody does come back in your life or you go back into somebody else's life, it may be that you turn them down. Okay. Doesn't mean you don't get the apology, but you may even refuse the apology. Um, it's really what what's in your personality to do. Let's clarify it. I see Ace of Cups reversed as a strength. Got two. Okay, look at you. The sun reversed. Oh, and judgment. Yeah, this is telling me that your strength is that you see things exactly how they are. Because this is revealing false promises, false apologies even. There could be a false apology that really would suck. Okay, um, the sun reversed, um, something coming to light, although they tried to hide it. And then we have truth. Even though there's scales here, it's very, I mean, it's the justice card in this particular case, but it's not. That's what's so strange. Oh, am I using the wrong deck? Oh, so let me look. I'm going to say this is judgment, but... So I was going to say there's scales here, but this is actually judgment. I'm pretty sure it is judgment, but I want to make sure I'm not thinking of the other deck that I have that's very similar. You can see how they all look so much alike. This Okay, this is judgment in the other deck. So I was expecting this card to come out, but number 20. So here it's different. And there's a reason possibly that I use this deck instead. Because we have light, you know, blossoming. And then over here we have truth. But this didn't come out for your strength. Now, we do have second chances here with the Judgment card upright. But Judgment is about seeing something. It's about a wake-up call. You might wake up and realize this person isn't really sorry or this person doesn't really care about me or I'm glad I didn't propose. But basically, something's very well obvious to you and it's the truth. We have, you know, not seen illusions anymore with the Ace of Cups reverse. So that's your strength. That's a good strength to have because some people can't see things like that for whatever reason all right what other challenges might come up okay even though you're not supposed to really have any challenges with the five of wands reverse we have the moon and moon is secrecy you know wanting to believe in certain things so that may be a challenge you have is that you really want to believe it but you can see the truth for what it is okay let's see why is the moon here wow okay so you have the three of swords reversed again so the deception may be about the forgiveness, possibly third party, maybe you know, leaving a third party. But I feel like this is just going to make you emotional. Like you're really emotional about an apology that comes through. And so you may want to really accept it. You may really want to forgive them. And I'm not saying you shouldn't forgive them, um, but you may want more than that. But your strength is that you know the truth. The other card that came out is Three of Cups reversed. What? I mean, that automatically tells me about more than one person. 
So even though they're telling you, oh shit, even though they're telling you they got out of a third party, they haven't. Mm, that might be a challenge that comes up for you. So again, your steps are don't make something serious because you know the truth. Hmm. Okay, what is your potential outcome? Should you follow the steps about your issue, obstacle, or fate? What's the potential outcome for Aries? So far, the only sign I have in here is Pisces. Okay. And Pisces is also the hanged man, too. So you could be dealing with somebody like that. Their reading didn't have anything to do with this, though. Death reverse could be dealing with a Scorpio. So the potential outcome is it's going to be really hard for you to move on. Let's see if we can clarify that a little bit or just no new start because this is a, a clean break and a new start. You may just not give them a new start. And with six of cups here, I do see you're having a hard time getting over it, especially if there's a breakup. And it's all leading back to the four of wands. Lovers. So you're not getting over the fact that there was a third party or, you know, a relationship will end with death here. But what I'm seeing is you're not going to be a part of this third party. So we have, we have like kind of like a maybe here with death reversed. Otherwise when it's upright, it's a no. So I have like no harmony. Like, no, I'm not going to go with the program. You might be tempted, but lovers tends to be more than one person. In this deck, there's only two. So I do feel like you're going to tell them you haven't moved on from somebody else, possibly somebody you were married to, right? And um, you're going to let them know that. But also, for those of you who are going through that thing where you're like, I'm not ever getting married. You know, I've apparently I've been with somebody who's been with somebody else. It looks like... You're opening up to the idea there's a possibility of being, you know, in a union with somebody. Not whoever this other fucker is, okay? Let's get one more card. The Two of Cups reversed. Mm. So you're not going to be, yeah, you're not going to be in union with this other person. And just be careful if they told you that they're not with somebody because it looks like they are. Eventually they might actually get divorced or get away from this person, but it's not in the month of October. And we have like, it could be just a no in itself, like a super no instead of just a no, like no harmony, no love, no union. And then we have that as well. And that could be your, your good outcome because you know the truth. Like you're not bringing that cup into this relationship and neither are they. Or neither are they. And it might be a revelation that you have with the judgment card here. So again, somebody could be coming back in. You're not going to give them that chance. Because I still feel like there's somebody else in the mix. And they might be lying through their teeth. Or you. Now this could also be something in the past. Maybe you or somebody lied about it in the past. And now they're coming back. Um, but I feel like the cycle could repeat. So you may want to avoid that. Alright. Now this is my deck that I really like. It, it was a deck I did not like at first. Until I put my own words on it. I literally taped them on. And it, it tends to be very relevant lately. However, it's not. Don't worry because they are my own words. Um, let's see what messages or advice we have for Aries. Um, for the month of October 2018. Oh, come on. Get in there. Shuffle again. Okay, let's see what we have for Aries. October 2018. What do we need to know? Aries, October 2018. Okay, we got one. We have sad. Okay. I'm sorry. That's not very fun. You're you're sad about it. We did have the Ace of Cups in reverse. And I feel like it's more like melancholy and being alone, like the Queen of Cups. And we have, you know, Three of Swords in reverse, which means you've been sad, but it looks like some healing might be coming for that. Let's see what else is here. Okay, got two. All right, so we have 
visit someone special and try other avenues. In this case, I feel like it's try other people. You need to put up your boundaries in regards to this person. Yeah. And visit someone special. And we have diamond, something you might shine bright like a diamond. So visit someone special. That's going to help you in the situation. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, we have spy. Ooh. So insecurity, acquiring knowledge, and manipulation. So I feel like somebody could be spying on you. I don't really get you doing that. That's interesting. That didn't even come out in the read. So um, this person may be spying to get back to somebody. 